Hello, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is Dr. Patrick Singer talking from London, and I'm um, best-selling author and book writing coach and help people uh, research their greatness and document it. Uh, this afternoon or this evening in India, uh, we are pleased uh, to have with us uh, Coach Harish Mehta. Coach Harish is internationally known as a, uh, a disruptor as a disruptor. So he is here to help us dis disrupt our lives. But importantly, talk about his model that he uses to help people across the world, in all continents, uh, to dis disrupt their lives and create the best lives out of the chaos of disruption. Hello, good evening, uh, Coach Harish, how are you? Good afternoon and good evening. From India, Mumbai, this is Coach Harish Mehta, the yes. disruptor. <laughs> I am here to disrupt the lives of people on planet Earth. That's my job for the next 30 years. And yeah. I want you to be around to see me execute this job. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Patrick, for putting me online with your viewers in London and here in Mumbai, where I speak from my home. This evening, today we have a special day in Mumbai. We have the Ganesh Visarjan. We have a god called Ganesh and we are having him go back home after 10 days of blessings to the people of India. So today, as I choose to speak on D-I-S-R-U-P-P-T, I have mentioned in my first two episodes to people who have been following me that it's in your moments of decision that you design your destiny. I repeat, it's your, your moments of decision that you design your destiny. And I am here to disrupt the way you think, listen, and do. Today, as I speak on D-I-S-R-U-P-P-T, Patrick, I have already spoken on dream, dare, and do. Yes. Intention to make an impact in the lives of people through I, and I'm going to skip the S and R. Today, I'm going to speak about the first P and the second P thereafter. Okay. P is all about planning, planning, planning. The process of winning and losing all starts from planning. People plan their lives. People live their plans. People do not plan their lives and do not live a life. So... Planning is essential. How you plan your day, how you plan your month, how you plan your year, and how you celebrate each and every day. So planning is essential, be it for a young person, be it for a student, be it for a teacher, be it for a professional, be it for a business owner, or be it for any individual who wants to make a mark. And today, each one of us born has greatness within him and he has to make a mark. Now, what do you need to do to plan? To need to plan, you need to have a dream. You need to have a dream and dreams come true. Remember, when you dream, you think about it that this is achievable. And when in your mind you decide it is achievable, you get down to setting goals. Setting goals to achieve the dream. Mm -hmm. And when you set your goals, you plan. Yes. You plan what you need to do mm -hmm. today to achieve that goal tomorrow. Realize mm -hmm. that goal tomorrow you need to plan. So mm -hmm. after plan comes preparation. So the second part of P is prepare. When you start preparing yourself to do the plan, you get your tools together. You put your pen and paper together to put it as mm -hmm. plan on paper. Your thoughts in the mind need to be put in a plan. And plan can be personal plan, can be business plan, can be social plan, can be 
anything that you need to do in life to achieve that purpose, that goal in life. So when people plan, they have to draw it, write it down on paper. And when you write down on paper, you write the steps you need to take to execute that plan. In that execution stage, you start preparing yourself, your mind, what all you need to do. And when people write the plan, people write a smart plan, a specific plan, a measurable plan, an achievable plan, a realizable plan, and a plan that needs to be executed within a time frame. So smart plan, and smart plan will lead to smart execution. And execution will give you the results that you need. And those actions which you take every single moment of your life will realize into results. So when I say plan, you need to plan, you need to prepare. And when you start preparing, you need to practice hard. Practice hard to fulfill and achieve those goals which have been mentioned in the plan. Mm -hmm. After preparation, after practice, you need to prioritize. When you prioritize everything, the steps that you need to take, only then you need to go and perform. And remember, all this will require patience, patience, patience. Perseverance, perseverance, perseverance. Perspiration, perspiration, perspiration. And persuasion is required to do all this that you have thought about in your plan. Now, when you do as per plan, you may face some obstacles, some challenges. How do you address those challenges and take a route which will help you execute the plan, which is those diversions which you need to take. Now, when you prepare the plan, those challenges may not be there, but they may come up over a period of time. So mm -hmm. people prepare a five-year plan, a three-year plan, a one-year plan, a half-yearly plan, a quarterly plan, a 90-day plan. Most often people do a 90-day plan. 90-day plan in terms of their personal and in terms of their business profession and their life, how they need to achieve what they have thought about in their dreams, writing their goals and executing the plan. So today, I'm happy to share with you the most powerful weapon in people's armory in my disrupt, which is plan to succeed. Plan to do and plan to achieve. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much for sharing that plan uh, model or part of your model. Uh, listening to you was hearing all the P's, plan, prepare, practice, persevere, patience, persuasion. Uh, so how- And the result, and the result is productivity, profitability, and perfection. This is a whole process of success. Mm -hmm. The P's you would require to execute to be successful in life. That is where I use in my disrupt from planning to productivity to profitability. This is the process for success. Wow, that is uh, brilliant. That's amazing. I don't know how you conceived this model. Is it based on practice? Is it based on your personal experience? Or could you share a bit of you on how you've utilized this model in your life or with your people that you coach? How you know, you this? Yeah. I, I would love to share. Planning your life, planning your time yes. is the most essential thing in life. You know what? People plan birthdays. People plan their weddings. People plan their trips. People don't plan their life. Mm -hmm. How important it is for you to plan your life. How important it is for you to plan your business. How important it is for you to plan your children's 
life and create happiness in the lives of people. Mm -hmm. Plan your relationships, plan your joy, plan your job, mm -hmm. and plan your wealth. And you know what? I'm again going to share with you the same word. What you plan, what you execute is what you get in life. And those thoughts will keep coming to you till you get those results which you want. Mm -hmm. So that means what you think is what you become. And thinking, from thinking to planning, planning to executing and getting the results you want is your destiny which you have designed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's so simple. The universe participates with you. The frequency and the vibrations match once you decide. And the most important part in your mind is making that decision. How hungry are you to get what you want is important. And when you're hungry to get what you want, you get what you want, remember. That clarity of mind, that clarity of thought, that clarity in your speech, that clarity in your confidence is reflected every single moment you live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So planning is an integral part of living your life. So how... Unplanned life is unplanned living. Planned life is planned happiness. Planned happiness is your destiny. And people say, I am destined for it. I said, no, you planned your destiny. You wrote your destiny. You worked hard to achieve what you planned. And that's the result you wanted and you got your wanted. The universe participated in what you did. That is how strong planning is. Well, the thing is that some most people, they have a religion or they believe in some form of a god or gods that <coughs> plan their lives. So in other words, they, when they are born, they some people believe that they are destined either to succeed or to fail. Uh, so how does the planning disrupt the plan of God? If I told you that uh, those people believe that it's God who has planned all their lives, so how does their planning fit within the grand scheme of things for people who believe they are religious? And I would share with you the religion is faith. Mm -hmm. And faith comes over a period of time. People who believe in themselves have that faith in themselves. Mm -hmm. People who believe in themselves have that faith in themselves and that faith carries them to execute the plan. Mm -hmm. And God is there with you every single moment of your life, remember. Mm -hmm. Whosoever you believe in, whosoever you live with is always there with you. Mm -hmm. And it is you who is executing the plan that you desire, that you want, that you are destined to. And God is always with there, with you, mm -hmm. helping you in executing with your strength, with your mind, with your power, with your ability. And once you write it down, this is my plan, and this is how I need to execute, God always is along, mind you. Your body language is always saying that God is with me. The energy is being provided by you, the vibration that you carry, and God is always with each one of us. Mm -hmm. Now, people say God is doing it. I said you are a part of God and you are doing it yourself and using, carrying God along with you. So you become the power and God is along with you. Most well, often, most often, this is the way it happens. Yes, but what about the moments of uh, what people call chance or coincidence? For example, the moment I'm sitting here and I'm talking to you. Uh, I could have been uh, somewhere in central London and working in the parks and meet people and the conversation starts and then completed would have been, my life could have been completely different if I wasn't uh, here talking to you. Uh, maybe the opportunities as well have uh, presented myself would have been uh, exposed to, would have been as well different opportunities. So how do you mix all this with planning and uh, 
uh, I would share with you destiny. Yeah, we all have got frequency. We all have energy in our body, in our minds, and those vibrations are matching the universe frequency, the vibration, and the energy. Mm-hmm. When all this is matching, there has to be music. There has to be miracle. There has mm-hmm. to be harmony. There has yeah. to be peace. There has to be joy. There has to be happiness. Mm-hmm. And this is what I call attraction. Mm-hmm. People attract each other. When the vibrations match, attraction takes place. When mm-hmm. vibrations don't match, attraction does not happen. Today, me and you are speaking. I yeah. here in Mumbai, you there in London. The vibrations have matched. The frequencies are at the same level. And the universe is participating by giving us this opportunity to share our knowledge, our wisdom, and our platform to talk mm-hmm. to people that they have something special in them. Mm-hmm. They have greatness within them. And today, that greatness is showing when we participate together, we share with this world that they need to create abundance in their lives by planning their life. Mm-hmm. A planned life is always better than an unplanned life. Oh, yes. When you know what you want, you get what you want. And when you don't know what you want, you search for what you want. And in that space, you are losing your time, your energy, and your value. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. So how are, what about the people who say planned and they planned and they planned that hasn't worked? Uh, what advice would you give them? I would like to share with you here. Out of 100%, 90% is planning, planning, planning. Mm-hmm. And only 10% is execution. Mm-hmm. When you plan your day by the minute, you make it happen every single minute. Why? Because you are committed to execute the plan. Mm-hmm. A plan is written down much in advance with date, time, and year. See, I need to travel tomorrow morning to Kolkata. Yes. My flight is at 8.20 a.m. And here today in Mumbai, India, I have to leave my home tomorrow morning to take the aeroplane and sit on that plane to fulfill that plan. Yes. So I'm conscious of time. I'm conscious of what I need to do to prepare myself to board the plane and what I need to carry. So mm-hmm. life is all about planning and execution. In case you have no plan, there's no point in living a life. Mm -hmm. And life is executing the plan with time, with value. Value your time, value people's time. That is how you write the plan. You book people time, and that's the planning part. And then when you go and meet him and get the things done, it's execution. So 90% of life, be it personal, be it business, be it individual, be it social, is about planning. Patrick, you booked your time with me. You planned it, right? Yes. The whole world is listening to us because we had planned this interview. We had planned this and I had planned it that I'm going to speak about the first P today. And mm-hmm. I jumped from DI, leaving S and R and U for subsequent sessions because I wanted to show the people that planning is uppermost in the minds of people who are successful and unsuccessful people need to learn planning is essential to become successful and if you need to be successful uppermost in your mind should be plan your day plan your week plan your month plan your year and plan your 25 years i promise you each moment of your life will be happier once you plan. Your family is going to be happy. Your job which you are doing, you're going to do with full of happiness and joy and enthusiasm. The health that you look after yourself is going to be planned. 
If I need to do my exercise every single day at 6.30 in the morning, you planned it. I need to wake up in the morning at 6 o'clock. That's your plan. I need to sleep by 11 o'clock. That's your plan. All planning will take shape and give you so much of fulfillment in life. And I must add here, Yes. Planned people have greatness within them. So mm -hmm. I wish all my listeners today, all over the world, live a planned life. Even mm -hmm. you need to plan your sleep. You need to plan that you need to dream big and write those dreams in the morning and fulfill those dreams in your life. And those people who have dreams live a fulfilled life. I promise you, this will happen to each and every person who plans in life. And as well, adding on that, that people who have a planned life, people who have the dreams, they live as well a long life. Uh, because uh, I've seen and witnessed people who have no dreams for their lives and engage in uh, all sorts of self-destructive behavior. Uh, uh, criminal activity, drugs, alcohol, excessive alcohol and all that. Uh, within a few years down the line that that person is gone. Why? Because they haven't planned their life in a certain way. Uh, they haven't planned their life for greatness, in other words. And the planning you're talking about is very essential. Just recognize we have some viewers from Kenya, Alfredo Gola saying hello. Uh, we have Wenceslas from Uganda saying, uh, looking at you and saying okay, hello from Uganda as well. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, in case you are listening or just joined us, um, my name is Dr. Patrick of Singh and talking to Coach Harish Mehta, a uh, disrupt coach. Yes, he's a disrupt coach and he's talking about his disrupt model, a uh, disrupt model which is aimed at helping people disrupt their lives but and configure it for greatness. So he's saying that we need to live a planned life. Why? Because an unplanned life is not worth living. An unplanned life is not going to give us the best life or the great life that we are looking for. So thank you very much for sharing uh, with us your wisdom, Coach Harish. Yes, stop, blame, stop the blame game. Yes, there you go. He's saying you, we need to stop the blame game. So what is that blame game you're talking about here? People in life choose to blame. Mm -hmm. Instead of taking ownership, accountability, and responsibility for the words they choose, mm -hmm. for the thoughts they stitch, for the mm -hmm. actions they take, for the results they get. Mm -hmm. So people need to move away mm -hmm. from living a life of blame, living a life of excuse, and living a life of denial. Take mm -hmm. ownership of your life. Life is precious. Live a long, strong, fulfilled life by deciding what you want. Why you want what you want is very important. And when mm -hmm. your why drives your what, how to is a process where coaches like me and you help people get what they want, taking them on this process of how to get more of what you want and less of what you don't want. So I what repeat, happened? more yeah. of what you want and less of what you don't want. It's your choice and you have to make a decision. What is it that you want more and what is it that you don't want? Mm -hmm. What happens when you get challenges uh, uh, as you execute your plan? Uh, because you could have planned, for example, to you said you're planning to go to Calcutta tomorrow morning, uh, let's say 7.30, and then you reach at the airport, there's no flight, or the flight is canceled because of the weather and kind of thing. So all that disrupts your plan. How do you deal with that disruption? I would share with you my single story. Yes. On the 15th of August, 2015, I was in Berlin, Germany. Yes. And I was to speak on the 16th of August here in India, Raipur. I took the plane on the 15th of August from Berlin, reached Mumbai in the night. 
Mm-hmm. Next day morning, I took the flight six o'clock and reached my destination at nine o'clock. I mm-hmm. reached the venue where I was supposed to speak to 400 people. And I shared with them that I came from Berlin today. I'm here with you speaking to you. One of them asked me, sir, the same question that you are asking me now. Yes. What would have happened if the plane would not have come? Mm-hmm. And listen to me, Patrick. I decide what I want. And I get what I want. The universe participates with me because I know what I want. And when you know what you want well enough, the universe participates and make it happen. People call it miracle. I call it that's the way you need to live your life. Mm -hmm. Once you give 100% of focus, attention and energy, you get what you want. Mm -hmm. When we lose out on focus, when we lose out on energy, negativity creeps in. Self-doubt comes in and people around you are already pulling you back from clarity to contrast. This is where you belong. And when you lose out on that, neither there is faith nor there is hope with you to get what you want. Mm -hmm. Do you see the power in you? Yes. And when the power is there in you to fulfill every single action of yours to get the results you want, you get what you want. That's the differentiator between good to great people. Mm-hmm. Great people are not born. They become great because of their acts of greatness. Mm-hmm. Because of their acts of the way they speak, the way they conduct, the authority that they carry, the power within which they speak gives them that awesomeness that they are great. Mm-hmm. And greatness is visible in them every single moment they speak. And that is the power they give. And I must share with you each one of us carries that power. So basically you're saying that uh, planning is a very essential pillar to being a, a great. Uh, planning is an essential element uh, of doing great acts. Planning prepares your mind. Mm-hmm. Planning prepares your mind to do those great acts yes. that you need to do. Mm-hmm. And your need to do gives you the energy, the power to complete that within a time frame. And when you move with single-minded purpose, positive mental attitude, enthusiasm, and self-discipline, this is waiting to happen. Mm So when, when you get challenges along the way and the, those challenges disrupt your plan, sometimes you may feel like giving up. So how do you keep going irrespective of the challenge? When those things come in your mind, how do you control your mind and say that I'm going to achieve in the next step? That's your power. When you're already done 90 meters and 10 meters is the journey that you need to execute. That's the amount of extra energy, that extraordinary that you are, that you that shows up. Mm-hmm. And that extraordinary in you gives you that power. That power in your mind that you are meant for greatness. Mm-hmm. So the challenge which comes in, which makes you weak, disappears. Mm-hmm. And when that disappears, that strong energy that strength appears to take you to the last leg. And once you cross the rope, look at the enthusiasm, look at the joy, look at your spirit. Once you cut the tape and you are a winner, that joy is celebration. Mm -hmm. And when you have your celebration in top of your mind, no one can stop you, not even you yourself, to reaching that tape, finishing line and achieving success achieving greatness and that's why i talk about in my seven steps to greatness 
one of the things that will bother within us is our greatness. And once you reach, uh, you discover your great, the greatness within you, then you're set on fire. Uh, yes. Whatever happens, no one, you become unspo unstoppable because the power. And when you speak it, to yourself, yeah, the power. I am unstoppable. You look at the power within you. Yeah, the power within you is greater than the. I, I, I tell people, speak to yourself every single day, hundred yeah. times. I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. I will fulfill all my goals. I will achieve all my dreams. And I am the best. You see the energy that flows? Yes. That's important. And being there is important. And people around you also get influenced, get motivated to drive with you. Mm -hmm. And that's your radiation, the power you generate in the room. That's what you give to people. That I have greatness within me. You have greatness within you. We all have greatness within us. Let's share this with the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, then and I'm so thankful that me and you today had the opportunity to share this greatness with the world. Yeah, thank you very much, me too. Uh, how do you draw in people who feel that they don't have any greatness within them? They have very low self-esteem and they feel that they are not, they are good for nothing. So how do you help that kind of people discover their I, I help them by reaching out to their minds. Mm -hmm. I reach out to minds of people. I say, remove self-doubt with self-esteem. Remove negativity by removing those negative words from your life. Start using the word, I can, I will, I am, I must. Stop living with people who are negative. Move away from them in life. Remove those friends, associates who are negative. Then comes fear. Face the fear, address the fear, be with fear, and fear will disappear. And the last thing is, forgive people. People need to be forgiven in life. Let them go. Do not hold them. So this is one part of the story. The rest of it is within you. Stop complaining. Stop criticizing. Stop worrying. Stop gossiping. And stop procrastinating. Do this five and four and life will change. I promise you. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Uh, I've been, over the last half an hour, I've been talking to Coach Harish Mehtalai from uh, from India, and we've been discussing on this You Change My Life show, we've been discussing how he has come up with a model called Disrupt, and you can see that on my screen, a Disrupt model, which helps people create their best lives. Uh, in case you are interested or you would like to have a uh, conversation with Coach Harish, get in touch with him and he will help you create the best life for yourself. He will guide you step by step uh, to discover your greatness and uh, live your dreams. So how I'm can... I share with the, your viewers, they can reach out to me on harishmehta.com and they can reach out to me on my WhatsApp number plus nine one nine nine two zero nine one seven four double seven I repeat plus nine one nine nine two zero nine one seven four double seven happy to give a free coaching session to them and help them create abundance in their lives and thank you Patrick for inviting me again on your platform and sharing my story. Thank you very much for giving your time to us and we appreciate the time you've spent with us despite your busy engagement. And we look forward to being with you again next weekend. Yes, thank yes, you. Yes, next okay. Sunday we shall meet. Yes. Until then, thank you very much with folded thank hands you. for all um, those people who joined us and for all those who will be listening to me from now on. Thank you. Thank you and have a great evening. Thank you.